If the typical gym isn't for you and you're looking for a different experience to get in shape, you may want to venture into the world of CrossFit. 41 NBC's Dustin Wilson joins us now with more in this week's Sports Spotlight. Stepping into North Macon CrossFit, the sights and sounds of heart-pumping work drive home the fact this is no ordinary gym. The workouts push your limit, whether a seasoned athlete or someone looking to get back in shape, a person on any skill level can become a CrossFitter. You come to the peace with yourself and figure out how hard can you push yourself and in that last rep, you're just you're completely in the zone. For most athletes, bearing through an excruciating workout is anything but peaceful. The physical demand and mental agony takes a toll on those who dare to put their body to the challenge. But for CrossFit athlete Brandon Long, the challenge of pushing the limits keeps him coming back for more. If you're not psyched about moving loads of weight in a short amount of time, Long says, don't worry, CrossFit is for anyone. It just takes some dedication. You really have to be able to get in your mind that you're going to do whatever it is you set your goal to do. Workouts go beyond your typical dumbbells, elliptical machine, or treadmill. Exercises like kettlebell swings, pull-ups, and tire slams train the entire body all at one time. It brings everything in your daily life together, like everything, you know, from lifting up couches, moving things around the house. You know, you do here in the gym. This Saturday, a team of CrossFitters will head to Atlanta to compete in what's known as the Garage Games, where CrossFit teams from across the Southeast compete against time and each other. It combines some movement of body, body movement, body weight motion, um, aerobics, and uh, moving weight explosively. It's moments like these, sweating through the last final seconds of the workout, when the group comes together pushing through to accomplish a common goal. I guess truth to that old saying that those people who suffer together grow closer. So there's there's just bonding and suffering. Even the experienced CrossFitters who know the ropes and train at a high level look to help others reach their fitness goals. I really have enjoyed working with other people. I find that I really like helping coach others through workouts either as a teammate or leading them through a workout. The new people who come in, I, I feel like one of my passions in life is really helping people strive to achieve their fitness goals and just live a better life. Anyone interested in finding out more about CrossFit can check them out online at www.northmakincrossfit.com. Now we've got some sports action going on this weekend. On Saturday, the Mercer men's and women's basketball teams will host Campbell. The women tip off at 2 p.m. and the men follow at 4.30. Both GCSU teams will travel to Clayton State. The women start at 5.30 and the men tip off at 7.30. Fort Valley State University will head out of town to hoop it up against Tuskegee. On Saturday, the women begin at 5.30 p.m. and the men follow at 7.30, and those are Central Standard Time. One of Middle Georgia's own will be in the Super Bowl this Sunday. Josh Gordy, who played football at Washington County and then Central Michigan, will be with the Packers on the big day. Gordy is a cornerback for Green Bay.